white zombie was they made doing their things. money. They yes, did. they did. They did. cry about it. <laughs> 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 Fuck! Is that Fuck the you. title? Get off! Get you over it! You made your when money. I, you made your money. Get cry over about it. About it. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, it. That's the episode. That's the name of the episode. You made your money. I cry don't about know. It. The Shug Shane Hollister, Logan Anaiken, Lyndon Ehlers. Wrestling with music and life for life. <laughs> well, let yeah. me start it, Shug. Um, obviously, <laughs> it's no Shug Project. Surrection. I should have known that shit was coming. Wrestling with music and life episode fifth fucking teen. Can we keep going? I guess is the name right now. <laughs> hey, you know going? what? That's a good one. I think I can keep going. I'm happy um, to be part of the last oh episode. Oh my god. <laughs> And the episode, the the episode. And this the is episode it. before that, and the episode. Before. What Derek doesn't know is we've talked about Derek every single episode yeah. because obviously he's an influence on both of us in a lot of ways. Um, I do want to say I have a bone to pick with you there. Oh, okay. Derek, have it out, hash it out. Derek Aaron's assaulted me in fourth grade, and that is how we met. He assaulted me. I was just a, a normal kid, and I was walking around, and he wanted to act like a ninja and start kicking my legs, and that is how was, I uh, officially met It was Derek. mutual combat. <laughs> I was okay. going to say, I guarantee this wasn't just fucking I one-sided. Uh, I can't, can't look at it, I mean, fucking you see me here. <laughs> look at this. Oh, <laughs> uh, fuck. Uh, I'm I mean, just, uh, let me just mutual no. combat. <laughs> Look at this big orange ogre. Like this didn't happen overnight. He was an oversized boy Ow. in elementary school too, so I wasn't gonna go around looking for a fight with this dude, but I wasn't going to turn down a fight with him either. Because I didn't want to look like a fucking pussy on the playground. Yeah. I remember this exchange. Uh we were near the tether tether ball pole. Yeah. In line for that. That might have actually what then what sparked the controversy? Yes, it was. It Don't was cut morning. me in line, bro. I'm it next. might have been that. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I believe uh, it was other people. So, uh, from what I remember, and here's what's really cool about this show: everybody knows what I remember is always incorrect. Oh, it's every so time. Let, let Derek set the red record straight for everything, <laughs> which would be uh, like 15 hours <laughs> of all yeah, the shit we've of all the stories about. we've told. Uh, and, and I was. Yeah. This was literally 25 years ago. 25 though, so. years ago. Holy we'll shit. just kind of <laughs> amalgamate everything into just like a just a collection of bullshit together. Can, can I say other people's names then? I'm, I'm, I'm sure. I don't know. I'm, I don't know if they exist anymore. Not, but let's not just say full legal names. T uh, was one of your friends, and A was one T. of mine. I, and I you lost me. Dude, <laughs> just say the name. Like, dude, just say. Uh, it. Don't say their last Tony. name. Oh, yeah. No, he was Anthony, actually. Anthony. Oh, well, so. yeah. Fisher? Well, I worked with him later. Edit that out. Tony. <laughs> great dude. Anthony's a great dude. Um, yeah. And I don't think Cheers. he's going to give a shit about that. Yeah, by the way, let's just say that. Cheers, for fuck's sake, you guys. Yeah. Uh, uh, I can't I don't reach. get to see oh, there we go. often. I mean, we're family. Uh, as far as our, we have families, and we are fucking busy, and that's just how life goes. But... Obviously, we're adults, but I, uh, back then I was a kid, and Derek assaulted me. Oh my god! He See, assaulted This is that victimhood niece. culture that's <laughs> yes. just taken over. Oh man! <laughs> no, but uh, yeah, I uh, yeah. So I wasn't gonna turn down the fight. Mm-hmm. Wasn't gonna let that shit happen. Wasn't gonna walk away. Wasn't gonna back down. Right. Uh, but yeah, somehow it just uh, devolved into us leg kicking each other. Yep. And this is. I'd never seen the UFC. Ever. I didn't know what Muay Thai boxing was, but we just resorted to leg kicks. Yeah. Was, and then uh, we were kind of saved by the bell. Uh, one, of the, one of the playground attendants walked out of the school, and we both, like, this was the best part. Without saying anything, we both just turned opposite directions oh, and walked fuck. away because we are like, we're not getting in trouble for this stupid shit. <laughs> and then that was it. But that see, wasn't the first see, time we met. No. That no, wasn't the first time we met. I literally yeah. remember the first time we met. Oh, shit. He probably And uh, I up. said, I told this story at, uh, what was the last Dark Rift show seven years ago at Metal Fest <laughs> over in Moline. Sad. No, it was literally uh, kindergarten. Oh, okay, fuck. we weren't in the same class. In Buffalo Elementary, they split it up into the AM class and then the PM class. I was an AM kid in the morning. You were a PM kid. Yep. So, uh, but at some point they had us all together 
before they made that split. I don't know if it was kindergarten roundup or what it was, but I remember like we're kind of on opposite sides of the room, and I was like, "Who is this weird looking dude?" <laughs> Opposites the trap. No, but we we uh, <laughs> optimist pessimist. But uh, we yeah yeah we just kind of stared each other down, and I remember that. And then in first grade, we were fucking buds, dude. We had Miss okay. uh, Eric's class together. See, I'm so glad you're here because, man, as soon as you said that, I'm like, okay. yeah, that's All right. right. Does this Go ring ahead. a bell? Does this ring a bell? 100%. 100%. No. The oh, yeah. Surgery on Santa. Yes. Does that ring a I bell? I remember that. I remember okay. that. You yes. have to tell me the story, though. Like, okay. So I, I, know, I know what you're uh, talking about. It's early 90s, so kids yeah. just have weird shit, and yes. I had a, a large crayon that was Santa Claus's face, mm. and instead of using it, to draw and, and create things, uh, we decided to disfigure it and disform it, and we called it surgery on Santa, and that was like our <laughs> daily ritual. <laughs> so yes, That's uh, awesome. parents out there, if you have a weird little fucking kid, he's going to stay weird for the rest of yes. his life as well, this you know it's obviously this weird yeah. <laughs> constructive weird, right? I think that it's creative. Uh, it was funny. Creative weird is okay. Yeah, um, but dude, and, we were fucking buds in first grade, and yep. then just as it goes when you're a kid if you get put into different classes like it's like that person doesn't really exist anymore you're not really cool or 100%. not really super tight anymore if you get put into other classes until and, fifth grade and, and I, correct me if i'm wrong i think we became tight in fifth grade for sure um yeah. i don't think i seen you that fourth grade summer at all um, no. but uh you know i was coming down to b-town so maybe we would have we would have had a run in but you know, of course. Do we you, have a theme Derek for this a, podcast today? Me. No, there never is. No, man. I, he usually <laughs> has like notes and is like, I want to talk about this and oh, this. No, Once no, in no, a great no. while. Because this is going to be super boring for people. It's like, oh, well, let's listen to these guys yeah, reminisce. No, 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 about no. This fucking, is how you get to hear about yeah. people meeting each other. It's origin brother, story. Brother. Yeah, People man. watch the Jake episode, origin story. So, uh, wow. Wow, yeah. exactly. That must have been a fucking boring episode. <laughs> Holy shit. Well, you didn't obviously watch it, so. I did not. No. Uh, I, 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 we'll just. I'm not subscribed it. on the Patreon. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Well, you can subscribe on the YouTube, my friend. Uh, I am comment. subscribed on YouTube. By the way, our first comment was Mr. Uh, troll, the fucking first troll I've ever known in my life. Uh, Aaron's over here who said, <laughs> clean your fucking shit or whatever. He said, clean your fucking room or some shit. First, like Jordan comment. Peterson? Yeah. And, clean and again, your room. Oh, man. <laughs> anyway. So let's start. A uh, fifth grade was probably officially when we became best buds, and I will oh, yeah. say that it was uh, kind of just super. Just uh, it was easy. I think it was just I'm listening to shit, you're listening to shit, and then we just kind of were like, I don't really want to play no more. I want to listen to shit. Yeah, we we're kind of the the weird kids that were getting into music <laughs> and mm-hmm. like the heavy metal kind of subculture, I guess you can call it. We were right. kind of dipping our toes in there in fifth grade and mostly i mean this again this is mid 90s there's yeah. no internet around so kids are still regular human beings they're not they actually on go tumblr and, and, and tiktok play. and right. all that kind of stuff <laughs> so we had to we had to really dig to find that shit seek it we, we had to, to like it. look up to and our destroy. our older siblings <laughs> or you know right. their friends be like all right uh, what metal the- metal magazines is how me and my brothers found a lot of like that's how i came across God Hell forbid, yeah. before I did even Kill Switch Engage. Yeah, because we'll of a metal get to you. Shut up! <laughs> metal Edge, Metal Maniacs. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. Hell yeah. And obviously, pro wrestling magazines galore back then. But uh, <laughs> I will say, <laughs> nice. Mr. Burp. Can I get some um, reverb on that? <laughs> <laughs> reverb. Um, yes. So Maybe some reverbs. We That's the up, name of the episode. We straight up had metal in common, I think, because I, I really didn't well, bring anything in. Uh, I just was super into Metallica for sure. Hard, uh, we'll say hard rock, yeah, and heavy metal subculture because wallflowers. We uh, we were, I mean, shit. My first cassettes, one of which you might have bought me, was a Sublime cassette. Fuck yeah. Secondhand smoke. I didn't buy it. I, I stole it, I think, well, from... Uh, I don't think so. Some sort of sibling. I think sibling. it came from uh, probably Sam Goody or something. Okay. And then uh, Smash Mouth. Fuck <laughs> that yeah. Smash wow. Walking on the Sun. <laughs> Those were some of my first cassettes. Probably some of the hookiest shit ever is what you just said. <clears throat> yeah. Like straight up. Um, but I mean, music. even that was kind of like branching out. That shit... I mean, it was on the radio, but it wasn't, you know? It wasn't right. like pop 
radio or country radio like the other kids were listening to and then yeah from there metallica corn right well, it's kind of okay. like I, I will let me get to that so obviously bruh um we've mentioned him a million times mr duh bruh brandsky skadansky uh, brandsky skadansky brandy skanskins <laughs> brandy skanskins <laughs> bruh Gita. the captain of the shit chip bernadette jones yeah bernadette jones so the, the man had a bunch of really cool shit and uh i also had some other buds like josh downs uh show me ride the lightning what well, was actually his dad rick downs oh, and yeah. um they showed me some things that were like, oh, my God, this is beyond good. Especially, I think the first time I heard metal was Fight Fire with Fire. And I just remember hearing, you know, yeah. and uh, I just knew instantly the dissonance in that. That's that's my love. Uh, that's that's going to be forever my thing, you know. And uh, I remember me and you sitting underneath a uh, staircase. staircase at yeah. at Buffalo Elementary. And we're just sharing tapes, man. Literally tapes. And we're going, this one is, you know, this. And then we talk about it, uh, especially corn, because I remember you explaining. <laughs> I said, what's Adidas? <laughs> and you're like, <laughs> oh, fuck. All day I dream about sex. Um, and I'm like, okay. What's, Which, what's to con- think that, like, con- adults yeah. made that song and recorded that. <laughs> it was like, because it was definitely at, like, a fifth grade level of uh, intellect and creativity. So, yeah, I guess we were their market, but, yeah. Didn't they they should have saved the group from John Davis. <laughs> I was going to say, they all were fucking, like, the Adidas, like, John yeah. Davis were, well, like, no, Adidas. Yeah. I think he just had the thing. Or maybe Fielding. No, Fielding was definitely Yeah, they, yeah, yeah he was, shit. too. But uh, the other guys didn't really have that, I don't think. I think well, had Rocks and Adidas stuff. Yeah. But, either way. Monkey was wearing his You were showing me shit deal. I didn't have. I think one of the big ones, uh, although Bro was... Kind of getting into it before was Pantera, you know. I think you showed me that. That, that sure. didn't happen until sixth grade. Okay, okay. And again, you know, correct me. I literally you got to remember wrong. fucking time moved slower back then. No internet and just being that age. So yeah, yeah. I mean that's where we dipped our toes into heavy metal was Metallica and Corn and, and it then was, that kind of stuff. You know, and again, like I, I was going to say the story of um, that. You know, still uh, some of my favorite bands. Oh yeah, like, I mean, but still, yeah. I wish we, I wish we could have wrote that. When we were we were starting our first band, Razorback. <laughs> yeah. I gotta find a fucking picture of Razorback shirt for this. Um, yeah, I we, still uh, have the shirt. We I started the our fucking first shirt, band dude. In, <laughs> I guess in fifth grade, in a sense, because we were like, "Hey, we're gonna start a band." I mean, yeah, we kind of started the uh, the planning. Yeah, the idea, and then the all of a sudden, balling. You're like, you "Hey, I, I'm gonna play guitar, right?" I mean, uh, well, no, Again, I wanted that, to play guitar. Well, you did. And I did. I you did. I guess my mom bought me a, a guitar, and again, uh, props to her. I was, Purple I literally, DC Rich. I literally from cried. Eighties. I cried. Shredmobile. Um, couldn't do shit because uh, you know you do need to be pushed towards going to get lessons, and you can't just. I mean, you you can. A lot of people pick it up and just fucking for some reason can, but lessons would be would have been the best thing for me and my mom's like well, i don't know we can't do that it costs you know, money and it should cost money especially then and and again like especially with the uh the, just metal in general it was so inspiring i felt like you could just take over the world if you started a band like at that time and i was like this guy gets it this guy literally gets me you know and uh we'll we'll kind of get off that but i i just want to say like you have a better memory memory than even Shug and I compared to like everybody else in the world. I don't know I mean, about that. Uh, we drank a lot more than Derek ever has. <laughs> like, and then like I beat the shit Derek out of my brain of, with pro wrestling. So yeah. like, yeah, I feel like I have kind of messed my brain up through head banging. <laughs> well, yeah, no. you know what? Yeah, true. I guarantee like, it. What, I guarantee what about it. The hours on the trampoline, up and down. That was up uh, and down and stupid. I think that was a little more soft impact. But yeah, really? that's yeah. Dude, there was your after brain some shows where brain. I really went for it, like head banging yeah. wise, and I still had long hair. And it's like, oh yeah, I feel like I have literally have whiplash. <laughs> and there was a Great couple song. times where like my field of vision would get really small and it was like oh this is a concussion sy- sy- <laughs> like symptom i think i gave myself a concussion from or when banging. you're about to like black out of dehydration it's like the same thing it's like the tunnel vision you're like yeah. oh i'm going i'm yep. going literally every night i ever played uh in any band uh spinning my hair um i always felt like death for like hours afterwards and i was like yeah. oh maybe i'm doing something wrong yeah i was well yeah 
You know, you could just have bang here and there. You don't really have to do There's it. There's a more efficient time. way to do it. There's a safer way <laughs> to do it. It's the same as like. We need to be guys. the old guys to tell the young kids, you have to headbang more safe. Ah, I tell them. <laughs> PSA. PSA. No, I know. PSA. Kids, or just don't do kids, it at all anymore. Throw your head against the fucking wall so that, <laughs> you know, you're no competition to me. Anyway, I'm just kidding. Uh, the, one of the things I was getting at was. Hold that, on, one aside right there. Yes. So I went into, uh, a few years ago, I went into a chiropractor that did x-rays on my neck. Yeah. And there was this distinctive, strange curve, like, to the left on my Uh-oh. neck. And he's like, were you in a car accident? I was like, <laughs> uh, not really, no. He's like, how did this happen? I was like, I was just thinking to myself, I, I think I know how that happened. Yeah. But I'm not going to admit it. It was a show with Logan that was amazing, and uh, he was the best singer that ever existed. Uh, I was going to uh, say, I thought you guys were in a car accident, actually. <laughs> well, we yeah. were. We actually Unscathed. were. Unscathed. <laughs> <laughs> um, you think? Well, I had a little blood, but yeah. other than that. No, I no, think it was it accumulated me. damage from, from headbanging. Because, yes. yes. Yeah. For me, it was chair shots to the skull. But, um, you know, and you took one or two in the I, HW. I took a couple. And that's yeah. another thing. Uh, this man was the referee for EHW. Um, What's he EHW? It. <laughs> Extreme hardcore wrestling. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> In the front yard. Not fucking backyard. yarders. Fucking yarders, right? Don't Joe, say yarders. Bitch. Bro, fuck it. I was a yarder, too. Who gives shit? Well, shit. I, I, Do you ever uh, wrestle for any yarder feds still? No, like? uh, no I have not. Nobody... Yeah. Um, it's rare for that to happen nowadays. Like I think you so do, many people. In my yard. What happened to that? Uh, Two thousand dollars. Yeah. What I'll was that big? My yard. <laughs> that, that big. Easy. <laughs> that was easy, Derek. He's a fucking slut for money. Yeah. What what was fucking, that, why wouldn't I? What was that big fat guy that was running that yarder promotion? Big. Oh my big, god. Big, oh, Big Daddy. Big Daddy. Big I was, Daddy. I was gonna say every one of them. Is he still alive? <laughs> I th- he I think so. That's surprising. Um, Shouts out to Big Dad. Pretty sure he's in jail for like some pretty oh. messed up stuff. By All the way. right, oh, yeah, we'll we're just we're gonna have to erase his move name. Move on from that. He's yeah. basically uh, cancel culture for sure. Oh, my like God. Uh, touching little kids kind okay. of stuff. Well, some people deserve to be canceled. Yes, ah. like you know what I mean. Canceled out of existence. Yeah, you know what I'm real. saying? Oh my God. Anyways, let's move on from okay, that so shit. Uh, Holy let me fuck. Uh, cancel my first story of meeting Shug because it was all wrong according to Derek. If I had to guess, I don't know because his memories. Way better than mine. Derek, do you remember the time that you met Shuggy Woogie the first time? And Shug will um, tell his, his uh, recount of that as well. It's always fun. I'm thinking uh, the barn. barn. Yeah. The SCW definitely. barn, North Davenport, the original SCW Steve and Chuck wrestling. That's yes. right. They had the uh, makeshift ring that was built at the top of the barn. Yeah, like, you literally had to time. climb to get up there. Yeah. yeah, you had to climb a wooden ladder, it a felt rickety like wooden ladder. Our own Fight Club, you know, <laughs> it's pretty cool. I don't think we had watched Fight Club, but did yeah, you watch? did. You yeah. guys had already oh, yeah. watched it at that point. So yeah. we were like, "This is fucking Fight Club." Anyway, go ahead. I don't know if we made that connection, but <laughs> yeah, no, I just remember. Uh, and there, I mean, there's a bunch of dudes hanging out, a bunch of dudes working on wrestling, and then yep. you know, they have the stereo system going, and I think you had your big fucking two hundred. CD wallet case with you. So. It's like a fucking trapper keeper. That's kind of like. All right, we're still not that's, wrong. That's Keep the. Uh, that was kind of like the metric of how you knew if somebody knew their shit back then. I guess it would be like the equivalent of modern days, like how many TikTok followers do you have or something yeah. like that. Um, but yeah, Suga had some cool shit in there. He had Destroy, Race, and Prove, my Suga, I oh, think. Yeah. Um, yeah. Unfortunately, I also owned a CD by the band Flaw. I totally <laughs> the most did. Fucking Holy generic shit! Generic new metal band in existence. Oh my god! Funny thing so is, there's like, a mix. I know a lot of those Flaw. lyrics to this day still. Like a song will come on, like Payback, and I'm like, yeah. I still fucking remember that I don't song. Know that's, I just, I just knew it was fucking utter garbage. But whatever. I felt, I felt like that was. You had a cool Flaw. enough stuff to make up for it. Yeah, well, fucking suicidal <laughs> tendencies yeah. and some Slayer and shit like that. So. I was like, all right, this guy's probably pretty cool. Yeah. And, uh, well, then we you know, traded. We traded borrowing. Uh, uh, sh- I borrowed your shadows fall, and you borrowed my kill switch engage alive or just breathing. All right, all right. I don't remember that specifically, but that yeah. sounds right. Up I would have. Blood. I would have been the hookup for shadows fall. Yeah, you were, dude, time. for sure, man. I never heard him until you guys. Like, yeah. well, and again, <laughs> Derek found a lot of shit that was uh, outside the box. Uh, as soon as Napster hit, I started finding things that were outside the box. Yeah. box for sure. 
Uh, and I was going, fuck, man, this this is like one of those times, you know, that we're, I, you know, you remember a magic, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah. Dude. I still, you can find that oh shit on uh, like God, Apple Music so and good. Spotify. Yeah. I still pull that up occasionally. Oh, it's stuck in my head. What's going on? <laughs> yeah. That's some um, fucking riffs. Dude. They uh, eventually got like a chick bass player. And then that chick bass player, I think, like tried out for Metallica or jammed with Metallica when they were looking for yep. a bass player. And I was like, holy fuck, it's fucking a Magica. Holy oh, shit. Oh my God, that's cool. Yeah. That they, I think they awesome. were Bay Area, so they were kind of. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. But uh, no, go back to the SCW barn. Just yeah. fuck, I haven't thought about that place for a while. Because oh, I mean. You can smell it right I, now, can't you? <laughs> yeah, dude. To a certain extent, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's in like, the middle of a fucking farm field. Fucking dark. North, outside around, of the city limits. Like. But I'm just thinking, I was like, man, that was a fucking cool spot. Mm-hmm. A pretty special place to just kind of have free reign to fucking hang out and work on wrestling shit. Like, uh, and again, I don't know if it's, uh, I don't know if it's nostalgia or what, but I keep thinking, man, there's probably not a place like that anywhere around here anymore. There's probably not kids doing that kind of thing uh, anywhere around here anymore. That's kind of depressing. And yeah. it is, no, it is fucking depressing. It's like they get yeah. sucked into the screen, sucked oh, into the box, bad. and it's like, man, so they're missing out on a lot of cool shit like that. But so and, at you, time, well, and at the time, and at the time, I didn't appreciate. It. It's like this is really cool. This is special. This is uh, right. you know whatever it is. It was just like all right, yeah, let's go to fucking SCW barn and fucking kick it and work on trying to put together wrestling Fuck spots yeah. and shows and stuff. Yeah, 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 man. It changes everything when there's actual like even if they're makeshift bullshit ropes, but there's still <laughs> ropes. So they were like, were they um, garden hoses? Yeah, I think yeah. so. Yeah, I think they were garden hoses. Now, to speak about, like, your role, obviously you didn't wrestle there, Derek, but uh, you were a referee in EHW. Mm-hmm. And I think what, what you know, separated us from maybe the the refs that were there, no offense to them, they're all cool, uh, you communicated because we used you in EHW. We actually, we had no psychology. It's it's front yard wrestling. It's not backyard wrestling. It's a little better front yard. <laughs> it's kind of side but, yard, uh, to be honest. Uh, side yard. When I get... Uh, technical and, and really uh we use you we like hey it, go tell them it's a spot and you would yeah and, and, and go tell them it's a table it's funny that you guys were smarting up on stuff that actually happens in pro wrestling so i think it's, it's because cool. i got really into new japan uh, uh stealing new japan from napster videos um finding like all these like uh little secret things too like the kayfabe stuff that wasn't supposed to be you know just like Derek was supposed to kayfabe and uh, you were supposed to be here earlier and then Derek was going to scare the shit out of you but either way the point is it didn't happen I was going to pop through these fucking curtains and attack you and he was going to finger your butt something something would have got messed up up, like yeah it would have been worth it would have been good television (laughs) shit internet television Um, you know we had that time uh, and, and, and yes, the barn nostalgia, I have the same feel as you. Yeah. And I look at it and I go, man, do you remember that cynical played outside of that yes. barn? <laughs> yeah. Okay, dude. I forgot about so that. He and Logan brought it up. That. And I was like, holy yeah. shit, I forgot I like, about that. It was like, one of the summer wrestling yeah. shows and like we had... When, like, EHW was part of SCW, mm-hmm. and, like, we made flyers and shit and advertised it for it and got yep. friends and other people to show up. And, like, yeah, Cynical was, I don't know if it was, like, the intermission act or the opening act for the wrestling everybody show. Everybody outside the barn. We were already ready, and it was kind of cool because, like, so, everybody kind of came up. Now, they didn't mosh or anything, but no. we were, like, trying to get people to do that. And, and Who was, was in like, the Cynical lineup at that point? Oh my god. Brian Hobbs why, was, why right? Why would you even oh, of ask course. me? Brian of Hobbs course. was, yeah. Well, I mean, he um, was. But, like, Brian I mean, was Hobbs. there a... I don't know if you guys had a bass player. No, Trevice time. was playing bass. Was I remember, oh, I remember that specifically. Oh, oh wow! Because um, I just, Bryce. I just don't remember if uh, Brian Bogas was playing guitar, second mm-hmm. guitar, or not. But I do remember uh, you guys wanted to cover Aerials by System of a Down, and Trevice didn't know it. We so I picked up the bass and I fucking played the bass, and we covered Aerials. Are you Holy fucking kidding me? Holy shit, yes. dude! That's you don't awesome. remember that? Not at all. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. That's something yeah. I would dread singing. singing. I would I, like really. Like, that actually happened. 
Oh my a thousand God, I, percent. I wish. You know what's awesome is I bet. Steve, let's find out if Steve the Holsing, tape. I bet Steve Holsing has this shit recorded somewhere, dude. Okay, Stevie, real. you know. You, so I as soon as you, we're buddy. done with this recording, this know. you get a hold of Steve and find out if that's there. <laughs> Logan, you edit that fucking video into this podcast. <laughs> well, that would be fucking oh awesome. My God, that'd be a lot of work. But if he's if he's gonna find it, it's gonna be on a fucking VHS tape. Good luck with that. Oh, uh, you can make it work. I think the only thing that really sucks about. Covering aerials that I get. I'm a weirdo. <laughs> like fucking sis. But you know, a lot of those bands that came He's afterwards. He's a zany guy. That Serge um, Tankian. He was brilliant, man. And that's a brilliant band. And I seen them. Uh, I had. Uh, yeah, that was later. another band that I had in my collection that you guys were like. You guys, you like System of a Down too? I was like, fuck yeah. Like yeah. They're, right, yeah, we had, had a lot of commonalities. Album. Yeah. There was, and there still is, but there was, there was new metal that got a pass. There were certain new metal yes, bands that got bands. a fucking pass. System of a Down. Because Static of, X. Yeah, yeah, Static X. For yeah. sure. To me, because of tone, because of, and I, I didn't know it at the time. I just, I kind of picked up on it naturally, but I go, oh, this guitar tone, this is ideas, uh, trying to get outside the box, even though they were inside of a box, because, look at me! I'm crazy. You think about System of a Down? Yeah. I'm talking about all of them. I was always thinking of Sugar when you say like stuff like that. All, all, you know, and again, Rob Zombie. uh, Rob Zombie was super produced, man. Like, what do you mean? What do you mean like that? Super produced, but I also mean like he's outside the box. He's like, look at me, I'm crazy. Hey. Well, he was like that with White Zombie, though, and then he went off on his own and got even more weird. White Zombie was, you know, they're still uh, pretty bitter about that cat, but um, White Zombie was They made their money. They yes, did. they did. They did. cry about it. <laughs> 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 Fuck! Is that Fuck the you. title? Get over, get over you it. Made I, uh, you made your money. Get cry over it. About it. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, it. That's the episode. That's the name of the episode. You made your money. Cry I don't know, about man, because the Eno Spawn is way too big, <laughs> and they they make too much money, and I yeah. I'm just so jealous. Of how much they make. I mean, yeah. they are the spawn of Zeno, those son of a bitches. Yeah, we're definitely and not. <laughs> we're definitely not in the hole. <laughs> where, um, where are you guys playing next? Oh, that's that's at the end. But okay. Well, well, fuck it. Let's put it over now too. Then put it over at the end too. Monday, June twenty seventh, at the Raccoon Motel in Davenport, oh, Iowa. Yeah. Zeno Spawn is opening for Bewitcher and Cloak, who are on tour. Also, Wake Brewing is sponsoring the event. They're releasing a new beer that's a uh, collaboration with the band uh, Bewitcher. And that's they're cool also stuff. releasing a flexi, a flexi vinyl from Bewitcher on that night. So well, it's going to be a cool show. Good are night. Are you going to drink one of those? <laughs> I'll check it out. Yeah? I'll, I'll give it a taste. That's yeah. a good question. Do you drink before shows? Don't usually drink at all when I play shows. I think we if I do, few, it would be we after. We a shot, right? Maybe a shot. Okay. But that um, doesn't count. And kind of, yeah, I was going like, to say, like, you'll sweat between, that the fuck like, out on in stage. In between, we had a shot, I think. Um, I could be wrong. But, you know, that's cool, man. Especially with, uh, like, they're doing a whole thing now uh, with the raccoon thing and uh, the motel. Raccoon motel. And I, I, they seem I, like they like, have a lot going on, like, right away, like, fast, it seems. Well, last episode, I said, man, that sounds like a horror movie. And then I realized it was Raccoon City is why, what I was oh, thinking yeah. about. Oh, yeah, Resident you Evil. Know, Resident <laughs> Evil. <laughs> uh, and we have a horror thing about this, uh, Shug. <laughs> He's oh, yeah. a horror show. Look at him. Look at him. Uh, look at me. <laughs> look, I mean, look really how fucking scary show. I look like. Mm-hmm. Scary. Scary guy. Um, no, man, it's but it, we got we to gotta kind of... Go a little further back, maybe, um, and think about. So you really don't have a theme for this podcast? Oh, we definitely don't need a theme. The most of the time. I thought I watched the first couple episodes, and it seems like there was always a theme. So I was expecting you to hit me with a no, fucking man, theme, dude. Okay, the I'm kind of disappointed. No, I'm no, kind of no. left out. Let's Jeez, there's no theme. We'll get to the one part where Logan goes. Uh, let Logan book the ki- territory, and that's when shit starts to get fun. If you want to book it, man, I got so many things. Yeah, we'll hold off on that. <laughs> All right, let's talk music because you're here and you're uh, one of my. Uh, and I want to, I want to put you over a little bit, if that's okay, okay with you. I, I don't want you to be uh, upset with your ego. Yeah. You know, um, you, um, in my opinion, are one of the greatest guitar players I've ever met. Now. That was a slow thing, uh, of course, just like most. You know, what do you mean? Uh, you have a versatility on guitar uh, 
And again, I'm not saying there's not. First of all, I want to say you need to meet more people. <laughs> no, again, that's what I was about to get at. Humbled. Hold on. No, I, that's just what I was, kidding. That's what I was. Getting. Of course, I appreciate fact, that. A lot of people and a lot of people have been a hundred percent great. But uh, to me, I, I feel like your versatility is um, what makes you a different guitar player. Because there are guitar players out there that you know they have this. I don't know, feel, I guess is the best way to say it. And um, you have a different feel. I know it's Derek Aarons when he's playing guitar. That's what I'm getting at. I'll, I'll sum it up by that. So for me, uh, as a, a big fan of your playing, I have to remember, too, that you have so much more to offer. And I remember having this conversation with you a while back, and you finally were like, yeah, I don't know if it's me, probably not me, but it was probably maybe a push, but you go, I do have that, and I'm going to do it. And now your band, Xenospawn, exists, and it's amazing. And it's you. It's fully you. It's a bunch of really great guitar riffs that are fucking awesome, and much more. And that's kind of where it was, was you... Are you talking about when you told me, like, you should start your own band? Yes. That conversation? Yes. Okay, yeah. And that's kind of... That kind of uh, inspired me and some of the ideas I had for like Xenospawn, the, the this band. Um, but it's really like I don't write all of the shit. Matt Newkirk yeah. writes it's, a lot of riffs, and oh, it's, it's yeah, pretty he's, cool. He's a riff monster, from what I gather. He's a riff monster. Always has been. That yeah. shit face, shit face, <laughs> heavy metal, vomit party himself. <laughs> um, but what really helps me is having somebody to collaborate with on mm. riffs because. I don't know, man. When I when I play guitar, uh, when I'm jamming, when I'm practicing, like I don't necessarily sit down and be like, all right, I'm going to write now. I'm going to write riffs. It's usually they just kind of happen by accident. It's like, oh, that kind of sounds cool, and then I work from there. But if I have somebody Same else's here. riffs to work with, I can just it just sparks oh, all yeah. kinds of creativity for me. So I can, I was like, all right, what if we kind of change this and this to do this, and then oh, I'll write this second guitar part to complement it like this. Yeah, and then. Uh, Cause I guess I'm a little too like self-critical, a little too overcritical, a little too perfectionist with writing risks myself. But if somebody else writes something that sounds cool or has potential to be cool, then I can work with that a lot more. And also like, I don't know if you've noticed this just being older and yeah. being more experienced writing songs and playing like, um, I just kind of, I, uh, I don't overthink as much. Hmm. Like nope. With the Z- yeah, <laughs> with the Xenospawn stuff, I was like, "This is just gonna be shit." Right, my right here. this is gonna be shit. Right in my wheelhouse. It's gonna be kind of old school death metal. It's gonna yep. be based off the bands I love, like Death and Morbid Angel and Hate yep. Eternal. So it's just like there's not a lot of uh, I don't know, not a lot of mental stress, creative stress I put on myself. It's more of just. Letting the metal flow, as Chuck <gasps> Schuldiner would say. Flow. Let the metal flow. <laughs> yeah, let's let it flow. <laughs> and flow it does. And it definitely does. <clears throat> you know, and to bring uh, Shu back in here, because he's fucking looking border than... Oh, I'm not bored. Dude. I'm not bored. Trust me. <laughs> I'm catching my buzz, my friend. I'm telling... I'm, you know, I'm remembering that we, uh, we had... Uh, Early songs that again. Oh, I was actually going to bring up my favorite from Cynical. I'm positive it was a Cynical song. Cynical? Okay. Uh, maybe, maybe not. No, no, no. Never was the day was not Cynical. Oh, that's fuck Channel no. Brutality. No, oh, I was fucking. Motherfucker, that's Razorback. Uh, that's Razorback. That goes yeah, back. Yeah, yeah. That yeah, far. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that was, was the, the first original Razorback song from seventh grade. Yes. Dude, that fucking riff to this day, like if I heard it, I was like, dude, that's so fucking cool. Which, I know you guys chopped riff? it up and put it in like the slower one at the beginning, like dun 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 oh, dun no, dun no, no. dun 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 Back then, starting in seventh grade, when I would write riffs and write songs, a bit, like a lot, a lot of those just kind of held on, and we just kind of 
as we became better players and songwriters, we just kind of rewrote them and rewrote them and oh, rewrote yeah. them. And yeah. then, so yeah, that song went, uh, never was the day went from Razorback and then to our, our next band channeled brutality. Yeah. Yep. yeah that was, and it. then, was uh, it. it went through a couple different versions and channeled brutality. It was just a straight up thrash song at first, but eventually when we got more into death metal, it turned into like a death metal song and straight up. I changed the riffs and then eventually even how I changed those riffs, and then modified them again, eventually turned into a dark riff song. Yeah. Power yeah. of Eve. Yeah. Yeah, Power true. of Eve is basically never Where? was the yeah. day. Holy okay. shit. Some when of those you think riffs. about it, you're like, damn, that's, yeah, that's fucking I wild. don't know how stupid yeah. it will be for me to sing a guitar riff <laughs> while we record, but okay, so the guitar riff was originally da 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 Eventually, yeah. it changed in Channel Brutality, more death metal. Was like, and then eventually, fucking in, in Dark Rift, it's... Oh, that's right. fucking crazy. Like, the evolution so of how that yeah. song has become more than what it was. I mean, that makes a lot of sense to me. I'm not... You know, obviously now, yeah, I'm always doing sing. my own solo thing, shuggy boogie 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 I'm literally going, fuck, man. This thing became a different song every day <laughs> that I, I started doing a riff, you know? We should um, probably mention Logan yeah. poured his drink twice. <laughs> <laughs> he made his drink. No, I didn't. And then he fucking re poured for it. <laughs> oh, that was it. Yeah. That was when you got here. Yeah, that was when I'm I got sorry. here. Yeah. That's awesome. Don't Sometimes fucking, you have to re I just spilled all over my fucking self. I'm glad I wasn't recorded when that happened. Oh, well. Let me record you again. So Do it again. Fucking hot. We'll look, we'll look through the files. <laughs> <laughs> we'll find it. But let's just say embarrass that, you. You know, especially with shit. songwriting, which, uh, you know, to me, um, I have this uh, song I want to put out. And again, I want to put it out. But then Which I, project? My solo thing. His stuff. Finally, his stuff yeah. by himself. What is it called? Greater Than? What is your project called? Um, right now, I think it's called Greater Than I Think. Um, which wait I don't, greater than I think greater than I think yes like you might want to workshop that one but <laughs> <laughs> I don't doubt it uh, I, I would go good. with greater than uh, greater over than that. fucking that's rad already actually. a thing uh, is oh, it, it already is expo- yeah that's fuck them you're better than them <laughs> I'm probably not <laughs> <laughs> so with with my thing uh, I'm getting in my own head too much is it like your it's literally kind of death metal. Yeah, kind the of, one I, the, I think I showed you once, yeah, yeah. but uh, the master is awesome, and I like it, but I'm like, my own master. Um, I'm getting in my own head. I'm realizing that um, maybe I want to farm it out yeah. uh, because, you know, the, that that's probably the way to go. You probably need to be, you need to get an unbiased professional. Yeah, you know? no, there's definitely value in getting different ears on your shit. Well, I mean, I showed it to some people. Alicia, that's it. And I'm talking about from a mixing and mastering. I know, I know, I know. standpoint. And and she said, "Oh my god, this is great." But, uh, oh, you know, yes, what yeah, that? yeah. You know, I, I agree with the burp. <laughs> Fuck yeah, we're here, bitches. It's time to get fucked up. And cut. Welcome, <laughs> welcome to planet Earth. Yeah, welcome to Earth. <laughs> So we told a lot of stories about West Second Street, Derek. Uh, okay. You want a theme, motherfucker? Oh, we man. got a lot of themes, you mother. Calm down, dude. Calm down. You're gonna you're gonna get demonetized <laughs> talking like that. I'm gonna get demoned. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, the point is, demons are here. And they're driven. <laughs> I used that as an entrance song when I wrestled, bruh. Really? Yeah, I did. By demons be driven. Yeah, oh, by yeah. Pantera. Well, which makes in the sense. barn? In the barn. In the barn. We had brought in, called shit. We didn't call shit. We just went out there and did it. Well, well it kind of makes sense that yeah. you didn't do that because, like, Mexican on Mexican violence is pretty easy. <laughs> Here we go. That's definitely getting fucking cut. That's on the that Patreon. I, I don't give a shit. <laughs> cut it. I'm a Mexican brother. <laughs> it's okay because you have a Mexican brother. It's totally fine. <laughs> <laughs> We're straight up real in this podcast. <laughs> now, man, I, I I love Zeno Spawn. Um, yeah. I love the riffs, and Thanks. I feel like, uh, especially like Shug. Have you listened to Zeno? 
I have not. I feel like an asshole. <laughs> wow, dude. What? Are, what are, you're my friend? Wow. No, sorry. I, I mean, I haven't, I haven't been one of your wrestling shows in about seven years, but wow, Shreya. Come on. I actually want to go see you guys live before I even hear it anywhere else. I want to see it live. Like, yeah. mm. they don't Monday, like, yeah. June 27th at yeah. the Raccoon Motel. That's going to be a cool show, though. What Other bands are badass. It's gonna, I think... I think eight is when we'll probably start. Doors okay. will open at like seven thirty, but it's just three bands. We'll play for thirty minutes. The other bands will probably play forty five minutes, so it's not going to be a super late night, right? And uh, yeah, it's going to be a good time. You're, cool are you, you said you're opening. We're opening, Fuck and the yeah. other two bands are on tour. Okay, oh, cool. Yeah. What's the you can buy? You can What's just, the other two bands? You have like, to buy tickets before, or do you, you can buy tickets at the door. Okay. The other two bands are Bewitcher yeah. and Cloak. The name Bewitcher seems like it's like I don't. I think I've they heard came that through back in the fall at the Raccoon Hotel. They played. Uh, they opened for Exhumed. Oh, okay. Nice. They were on that show. Holy shit! Exhumed like nice. the like the death metal band like, like from back in the day. Gore metal Exhumed. Holy yeah, shit! Yeah. yeah. Okay. I, it's funny because I think I had one of those albums. Like, I'm pretty just, sure you did. I did. Yeah. Fuck yeah! That's, That's fucking awesome. crazy to think about, dude. You know, honestly, um, as we're getting drunk, or. <laughs> Um, I feel fine. <laughs> I feel fine. I drink a little bit. Oh, Dare Dare oh. takes his time with our drinks when we're, we're just in, uh, and then we're, on some seltzer. I'm putting like two in a cup at a time. Oh, okay. It's like going to town. Let's go Sorry, to town. I, I forgot my uh, custom tumbler. At yeah, home. You, you jelly, you jelly. <laughs> a little bit, a little bit. It's pretty fucking. Awesome. I don't even know what that is. I see. I seen you said that last episode. It's, dude, like, she what the fuck she is got that? this so, made for me, man. It's fucking awesome. Like, that is pretty dope. How fucking cool is that? Uh, Who is that? So again, I'm going to ask for. Uh, sorry yeah. to cut you off completely on your own show, but uh, <laughs> uh, again, a theme. Are we uh, are we chronologically moving through our friendship? Our That's what I was thinking. Musical, musical we're talk kinda, about how we. If so, we kind of left off in sixth grade. Can I get um, some requests that uh, I got through comments uh, <laughs> cleared up? Because of your memory, okay. Biggest one was uh, Battle of the Bands with Kimberly uh, Carmichael, and uh, I fucked up, apparently. Um, what about? Well, I didn't fuck up. Derek's going to remember all of it. Derek will remember Battle of the Bands with Kimberly Carmichael, and I yeah. just want to say, maybe I didn't fuck up. Maybe Derek tells it exactly how it was, and he's very unburdened with his story. Yes. <laughs> I mean, what do you want, what do you want to know? You want to run down right, to what we so did? Stars and stripes. So stars and stripes. Yeah, it was okay, mostly. Right. It was usually a, right. a twenty one plus or eighteen plus uh, nightclub in mm-hmm. Davenport. Uh, but this night they were having a teen battle of the bands. So it was yeah. specifically ah, a that's, teen okay, so battle that's what of it was. the bands. So, we're still right. Right. so there we're wasn't still any right. fucking forty year old dudes playing covers. It was and uh, it was teen bands, and you were supposed to do original music. Yep. Um. So, yeah, we signed up. There was a sign-up process, though, again, before the Internet was really a big part of our lives. So we had to uh, – it was partially sponsored, I think, by 97X or whatever rock station was in, in town at the time. So we had to go – we had to take a recording of our band. Oh, we had shit. to go drop it off of at the radio station. That's how you applied to get in the battle of the bands. Wow. So we – Showed up. We dropped off our recording Channel of Never Was right? Channel Brutality. Okay. Never was the yep. day we dropped that recording right. off at ninety seven X, and then yeah, we were led into the Battle of the Bands. They gave us the rundown. Show up this time, whatever. Load your shit in, and then go from there. Um, but yeah, it was Channel Brutality, but it was just a three piece lineup. It was me, you, and Tim Holst. We didn't have a bass player. We didn't right. have a second guitar player at the time, so it was kind of strange. It was kind of bare bones. We also only had. Three original songs at the time. One of them was like seven plus minutes long, though, so that was okay. But we also did a couple cover songs. Okay, so I had, I said originals and covers. Keep going. They told us to just do originals. But we were like, we don't have enough. We, we can't don't have enough. We can't fill the set time to do only <laughs> originals. No, by the way, if we did a cover, but yeah, I mean, like no, most no, people our, in the crowd were covers, like, oh, "That's a really good song." Our covers <laughs> were super obscure, so we should have just lied, but we didn't. So we did our three original songs. Never was the day. Yep. Freedom? Is that what it was called? Freedom. Yep. Freedom. And uh, The Weakening. Where, yeah, The, the Weakening. weakening. Yes. That's Those were I, our three I originals. I crushed uh, Shug's uh, skull. Fucked me up, bro. It was, when he jumped out? He yeah. jumped out and just kneed me right in the fucking head. Well, like, you were asking for it. You were up front, so... 
<laughs> if I thought I, if I knew it was an unburdened fan, I probably would have got him better. But oh, anyway. you would have probably severely <laughs> injured a thirteen-year-old girl. So I'm glad you didn't. Uh, but we did our originals, and then we did two cover songs. Yeah. Do you remember what the cover songs were? I see. I'm anxious to hear all. this part. Death. The Philosopher. <laughs> okay. Remember that. And Testament, uh, Burnt Offerings. Is that yes. what that song is called? <laughs> yeah. Which was fucking awesome. <laughs> so like, no one would have known those no, songs. No, Phil, you guys should have slided it. I we should have lined our asses up. I think Kimberly Carmichael was like, after we got done, she's like, that was a really good Testament cover. He's like, she said you that for real? She said something along those lines. Are you kidding me? Like, you, uh, well, we announced it first. Yeah. Oh. But she was just playing like, like you, oh. don't, you don't know that song, Kimberly. Oh, Carmichael. dude, I was getting ready well, to say, no, I was no, like, no, she no, fucking no, no. knew Testament? I mean, it was not a deep cut as far as Testament goes, but I'm I'm skeptical to this day. Okay. Um, But yeah, we played pretty good, played our asses off, yeah. did our thing, and then uh, we had our friends there, we had our posse there. Mm-hmm. Um, but then uh, it just wasn't enough to get the job done. On Burden was the better band that night. They won. So uh, they, <laughs> had fa- they had they had fans. They had t- uh, teenage girls there with was signs. A, yeah, they had that, like yeah. yeah can you confirm this? That bra ripped up a sign and spit on it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I thought Logan made. I thought I Logan made it, it up. I remember. I thought he made no. it up. No. As, as the, with, well, I want to say talk about some of the other bands yeah. uh, that played. Uh, yeah. Fork Knife Spoon. Yeah, oh, hardcore. Yeah, it was fucking kind of yeah, band. They fucking killed it. They were yeah. awesome. I was already familiar with those guys, and I was like, they're going to uh, they're gonna be cool. I don't think I'd seen them before, but I was aware of them on the internet message boards that yes. we had back in the day. No social forums. media. We had forums right. and message boards. And then uh, who else played? I think uh, Goodbye Annabelle Lee, a Christian metalcore Holy band that played. Fuck, dude, it was that one name, incarnation like, of the yeah, yeah. It was one like, incarnation of them, and they played. Don't know that, but go um, ahead. I don't remember. I mean, they were that. cool. I was like really surprised because it was like it was pretty heavy stuff. It was yeah. like metalcore kind of stuff, like Norma Jean sounding heavy metalcore kind of stuff. But at 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 the time though, this is two thousand three. This is May of two thousand three. So it was just like, and again, not a big internet presence. So it was kind of like surprising. Was like, damn, I didn't know there was other like super heavy bands, like extreme kind of bands around right. here that I wasn't aware of. So they were cool. And there's a couple other whatever throwaway bands. And then Unburdened who played some, uh, I guess, well-crafted pop rock music. Were they a lot younger than us though? They were no, like, they were about the same age. They were, oh, fuck, they I were fucked teenagers. Up. There's my, there's my thing. I fucked up. I no, thought. they were like high school kids too. Oh, okay. okay. Um, there's a pair, there was a, brothers of the band like the singer and mm-hmm. guitar player or something were brothers so they had that going for them right i think those those brothers uh the cerny brothers if you want to pull that up now or at some point Sounds familiar. they went on to like try and like fully do like music professionally and like i don't know if they got any good kind for of them right? yeah no it's badass it's good it's, it's great um but yeah they fucking they they took the gold medal that night they won but yeah during when they announced the winners um. Yeah, they had their little fans with their signs. Yep. It unburdened whatever. Do you remember what their song was? Their fucking hit song. That is looking back as on. Soon it, as like, you look, or, it, it, looking you back on it, it, I'll remember it. It was a good song. It was a catchy <laughs> fucking song, man. Uh, okay, let me. The Here stars I I, are out tonight. Okay. The fucking stars are out tonight. Yes. That was the chorus. Oh, holy a shit. huge oh, God, anthemic chorus yeah. from fucking high school kids. I I mean, fuck, I tip my hat to them. God damn it. Tip I of the, came up something better. Tip of the fedora to yeah. fucking the Cerny bros and unburdened. Mm. Uh, and they won it. And then when they Kimberly Carmichael announced the winners... <laughs> we were being shitheads like what we happened? were. We fucking booed. Our friends were booing. Uh, <laughs> I think I don't know if the one of the girls like taunted <laughs> bra or something with the side, but he grabbed that fucking side <laughs> poster board, ripped it up, <laughs> threw it on the ground. No! I don't necessarily remember the spit, <laughs> but he spit. tore that shit up and threw I it on the ground. <laughs> I remember <laughs> spit. Oh yeah, my yeah. god, dude. Yeah, so that was okay. pretty intense. Fuck yeah, it was a good night. One for the ages. Hey, you know, when you got your posse and your boys, man, they're fucking diehard. Like, yeah, fuck one, those guys. One for fuck the em. ageless. And uh, 
we were kind of pricks. So, I mean, we obviously still are, but we were really pricks back then. A lot, and then a lot uh, worse. another detail you might have missed is yes. the winner of the Battle of the Bands. I think they might have got money or something, and then maybe got a song on 97X or yes. some shit, which is fine because. It wouldn't have made sense to play us on 97X at that point. At all. Or them, actually. Or them. Kind of. I mean, it was kind of pop rock kind well, of stuff. But then you show, also... Hold on, beginning. hold on. You also, <laughs> you also got uh, your own headlining show yeah. at Peabody's. Oh, Downtown, the coffee shop downtown that the was the I've space for, for uh, you know, for doing DIY shows. And so, like, a month later, they had their headlining show. And just by happenstance, we were hanging out that night, me, you, Brian Hobbs, maybe some other people. And we ended up at Peabody's at that night without knowing it. And we fucking saw Unburdened. And we oh, walked yeah, in, yeah. and they're fucking playing their show. And I was like, this is that fucking show! <laughs> and then they saw us, and they looked really... Not pleased. <laughs> <laughs> we were they probably nice. thought oh, we were there to nice. fucking there to roll fuck them or something. Show up, bro. Yeah, it's like, fuck oh man, show. I remember. Yeah. We were nice though. We were nice. Yeah, we, mean, were. As usual. we were. We were. We like, were aggressive portal. shitheads, but I think we kind of poked a little fun at them and <laughs> and screamed, "The stars are out tonight!" a few times, and then oh, went on our it. fucking merry way <laughs> to Taco Bell or well, wherever we were going next. <laughs> you know? So, hey guys. Derek just cleared that story. Like we're pretty, mm-hmm. we're pretty yeah. good. Like I said, story. we're just adding it. Hey. We're amalgamating our bullshit mm. memories and getting something the theme, close Derek. to the objective. Truth. Like that, uh, the di- we got another one. You ready? Talent show West High School. Oh yeah, that we told that story. Or yeah, you talent told show or battle of the bands because these are two different things. Okay, well. Variety, I should say variety show or battle of the bands. Variety show was oh, in the yeah, gym, <laughs> right? No, that was the Battle of the Bands. Variety Show was in the auditorium. Um, <laughs> Which and- I've been a part <laughs> Oh, my of. God. Yeah, that was the one I remember when the dude dedicated uh, <laughs> Until I Die to his girlfriend, and it fucking sucked. It was bad. He did it really no, bad. No, well, I, that, I think that was a different year. Possibly. That might have been our 10th grade year. I'm thinking... God our, damn it, Derek's good. I can't our, believe you... That was our 10th grade year. That was your freshman year, because you were, yeah, you yeah, were yeah, grade yeah, below. Yeah, yeah. That's right. So freshman, I think it was freshman here, Cynical. Yep. Um, and I was kind of part of this too, even though I wasn't officially in Cynical yeah. at the time. Uh, we were going to cover all fucking nine minutes of the song Injustice for All by Metallica at yes. the variety show. Or we practiced it and then we did a tryout. Um, well, we did like a really half assed strange tryout. So that was variety show. Yep. Actually, we ended up playing. Uh, Part of nothing else matters, and then just went into some death metal jerk off session uh, <laughs> session after that. <laughs> now, was it me there? Because this you, doesn't even sound familiar I, at all. Okay, so this is kind of a vague memory for me too. But yes, we were there. We were all. It was me, you, Hobbs, yep, Tim Holst on drums. Maybe I don't think Bogats. I don't know if Bogats was involved at this time. Um, but we went out to do that. Like you don't remember hanging out in the back room of like the musical yeah I remember mu- George musical Garofa area was there um uh, I kind of remember like people that were yeah yeah so we were but, uh, yeah there were some older people that had graduated anxiety. that were hanging out and then we went out to try out <laughs> and then like yeah we played part of nothing else matters you sang it we played as much as the song as we knew and then instead of ending with the big uh, epic guitar solo ending we just went into like random death metal riffs. Hobbs was like shredding leads and I was just doing random death metal riffs and Tim nice. was fucking blasting and probably doing skank beats under it and you were doing some death metal vocals and then I got a little too into it and I started fucking flipping people off in the crowd <laughs> as, as 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 we were playing You're it and then uh, uh, yeah it's like yeah we're not getting on the variety show guys <laughs> it's not gonna happen no. and it didn't so that was the variety yeah. show yeah the talent show um, which we didn't make it to, but then this was uh, fast forward two two years into the future. Channel brutality. Yes, we did the battle of the bands, which we ended Juan up Sanchez. finally sealing the deal and winning. Yes, and I, I want I want you to tell the story of that from what you remember, you know, because that that story I told. Uh, I want to just click. And tick with whatever you got in your mind, my man. <laughs> okay, so I mean, it was the Battle of the Bands. We didn't expect it to happen because mm-hmm. I think they said they weren't going to do any more Battle of the Bands because I don't know something yep. happened the last 
it might have been our fault actually the previous <laughs> battle of the bands like us. me you colby and bruh hanging out yeah. and being shitheads during the other battle of the bands and i think colby got kicked out for doing that, something that makes sense so I think they said now we need it's culture, a, you know. Uh, you I think here. he said he's a he's an it's a no go anymore. But so when they announced the Battle of the Bands, it was part of the student hunger drive. It was one of those events, so the money would be go towards that. So we're like, all right, we're getting on this shit. Channel brutality. Yep. So at that time we had a four piece lineup. We didn't have, still didn't have a bass player, but we did have a rhythm guitar player, Juan Sanchez. Yes. Shouts out to Juan Sanchez. Yep. I said it was, in that uh, episode. We were. 17 years old 16 years old he was in his mid-20s but he was still down to come play at the high school so that's cool but yeah so uh battle of the band set up uh i don't think we had to audition i think we literally just had to sign up yep um i had vague details about the rest of the night or the other bands uh some of the hipstery kind of nerdy kids did a cold play cover oh They they covered clocks which they did okay with it and then there was some of the weird, uh, it, said even weird, weird something that he liked a lot. What was it? Weird, no, weird by our even our own standards. Some of the weirdo kind of new metal kids. They had a band, and they, I think they uh, did Tool. Is what Shook said. I don't know if they did no, Tool. No, no. They might have done System of a Down. They might have covered System okay. of a Down. Yeah, and some okay, other okay, random yeah, yeah, new yeah. metal. Because me, me and him said <laughs> no. Uh, Linden brought up somebody Pe- Pe- fucking Schneider. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, Peggy Snyder. Yeah. Hunter Station play. Oh, okay. Yeah. Which, whatever. by the way, like I was kind of, I, to this day, I'll still say it. Like I was blown away with how good Peggy Snyder really you was were at live. The top was that of the Bleachers? Yeah. Is what you said in the last. Was episode. that the same Battle of the Bands? I, to be honest, I don't I have, have no that. clue. Maybe I don't. No, I don't. If necessarily it was in the remember. gymnasium, yes, it was. Okay. The little gymnasium. Yes. Gymnasium. Okay. In the, the gym. Goddess. The goddess. That I. <laughs> <laughs> Shouts out to Zanga. Again, hey, bitch. again, this Zanga motherfucker came up bitch. with like Zanga. some of the funniest wrestling names Zanga. ever. Zanga.com. <laughs> Zanga.com slash Gymnasium the Goddess. Man, I had sex with a lot um, of but yeah, anyway, so ahead. we so we played again. We played our still only three originals we had six months later as right. Channel Brutality, but a little more fleshed out because we had that second guitar. Um, I guess the most epic moment of that night was when we were playing our last song, The Weakening, uh, we were supposedly going over time, because I think it only gave us like 15 <laughs> minutes or 20 oh, minutes yeah, or yeah. something to perform. Um, <laughs> and one of the teachers was going to stop us, but mm-hmm. Aaron Shinky stepped in and said, no, this is they're almost done, but this is the best part of the song, because they're going to stop it right at the guitar solo, the big epic guitar solo. Right. And he stopped the teacher from stopping us. We finished the song. And then eventually we went on to win the Battle of the Bands, which wasn't announced that night. It was announced... During school, over the final announcements of the I'm day. I'm not wrong yet. No, sure. you're not. But, no, you're right on. I'll, I'll, I'll believe you're wrong. But, let's see if you had this detail or not. Oh, I, I, uh, yeah, I didn't. If I say a name to you, uh, let me know if you know what I'm talking about. Mike Wolf. Oh, yeah. So what did Mike Wolf do? <sighs> you that, don't remember. That night. He doesn't remember. Okay, so that big it's sigh, that big exasperated sigh shows me you don't remember. No. I don't remember. But, Sorry. uh... Sorry, Mike. Mike Wolf was our bud, and what he did, which I think probably sealed the deal for (laughs) us, uh, the voting process, it was left up to the students who would win the Battle of the Band. So you had slips of paper, and then you would, you know, you stuck it in the ballot box, and that's whoever got the most votes won. Yeah. Uh, Mike Wolf came up to me after we played. He's like, he's all hop amped up. He was like, yeah, man, I grabbed like 30 of those sheets and I just wrote channel brutality on every one and stuffed it in the box. <laughs> I was like, hey, man, thanks. That's cool. Dude, Mike you Wolf. bastard. So I, I think... You, Mike. Uh, fucking fuck. Mike Wolf, man. The, uh... Yeah, it was not the most secure election of all time. <laughs> Unlike the 2020 election, which was the most secure election of all time, clearly, right? Yes, yeah, totally. Anyways, totally. Uh, this was not, this ahead. was not, this was not the most secure election of all time. There was some voter fraud going on in this one. <laughs> Fuck yeah. But they announced this as the winner uh, over the end of the day announcements. Intercom. And they also said, yeah, over the intercom, the whole school remember, heard it. I remember it being in the morning. No, that, it was I, the, it was towards the end of the day. I'm pretty sure. Okay. I'm pretty sure. I might be wrong about that detail, but I do. What you I do know is they said, they said, uh, go to room 200 and whatever to collect your prize from wh- whatever teacher at the end of the day. 
I'm like, hell yeah. I don't know. There's a prize. Yeah. And I remember everybody saying, everybody saying, oh, if there's a prize, it's probably money. And most people donate it back to the hunger drive. Yeah. Which I was not going to do <laughs> a <laughs> thousand <laughs> percent. Still in the same boat. I was, still yeah, we were going to, everything's still the same. Still the same we were going to keep that Go shit. Uh, yeah. But I showed up to that teacher's class at the end of the day. And she looked at me like I fucking spit on her. She's like, what are you talking about? And I was like, they announced this as the winner of the battle of the bands. And they said to come collect the prize from so your you, room you got from there you for me right yeah and okay. i of course so i'm still right so i got there and then uh she's like i don't know what, what you're talking about there's no prize it's like <coughs> okay lady i don't even remember what teacher it was but then i left feeling pretty salty and then probably ran into you in the hallway and was like that's no fucking prize dude fuck yeah <laughs> fuck uh Oh my All gosh. right. There it is. All right. Thank you, folks. <laughs> Check out Xenospawn. Xenospawn. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook. Check us out at the Raccoon Motel. Check out our band camp. Keep your eyes peeled. We're going to have new merchandise soon. Xenospawn. Shug, is there anything you want to promote or plug? Um, I have two Our- fucking shows. Uh, Next week, or, well, I guess whenever the fuck this airs, uh, I Give us have, a date. Well, fuck, man. I'm, I'm Throughout the date. So, all right, hang on, hang on. Check shit. your phone. I gotta grab my, my goddamn My date phone. for my show is uh, Monday, June 27th yeah, at the Raccoon Motel. Uh, the only other thing we have booked at the moment is Full Terror Assault. Yes, the USA's premier open-air metal festival in Southern wow. Illinois. This guy. Uh, September, I believe, September 7th through the mm. 10th. Uh, down in Southern Illinois, Full Terror Assault, Xenospawn will be there, Municipal Waste, Suicidal oh, no Tendencies. Nice. Uh, it's a festival where you can camp and listen to some of the coolest metal in the North American continent. So oh, check yeah, that out. It, Tickets are on sale for that now. Shug, you got those dates yet? Yeah, I got them. All right, uh, here we go. So, Let's take it away, Shug. All right, so the 24th, uh, we have uh, the Mexican-American Festival over in Moline. Um, like, last th- last year we did it, and I legit looked. Like, there's so many people. Like, I looked and was like, I can't see the end of people. They weren't watching the show, but I just but they were see, there. They were there. That counts. So I was like, I couldn't see the end of people. So that's going to happen. Are you going to be wearing a lucha mask? No. All right, maybe you should consider that. <laughs> sure. Last year I didn't do it, and I was totally over, so it was okay. awesome. All right, but there is a uh, there is. Hang on, so the twenty fifth downtown Iowa City. Are we talking June twenty fifth? Yes, twenty twenty two. Yes, June twenty fifth. There is a downtown Iowa City. Roads are fucking blocked off. It's like festival. some festival. Yes. Yeah. Um, I'm on the first half of the festival. I guess the main event of the first half of the festival. Is this and, SCW? Uh, yes, it okay. is SCW. Nice. And both shows are next week. Now um, Scott County Wrestling, not yes. Steve and Chuck Wrestling. Exactly. Just to clarify. <laughs> so um, Love it. Yeah. So, yeah, dude, I got fucking two shows next week, which is going to be fucking awesome. Hell and yeah. uh, both are going to be, like, packed with people. So, like, come be there. Have fun. Watch pro wrestling. Don't All ages? Ass. All it's ages? A, every show. Hell yeah. Mine's every 21 show. plus, by the way. <laughs> so we don't bring any fucking kids. Okay? Patreon. I want to say this real quick. I got drunk. For sure. Because it's Ooh. dad's uh, weekend. It's dad's yeah, it weekend. It's we dad's weekend. It. Uh, it's our we weekend. We own it, you bitch. You fucks. I love you guys. 